Hello, my name is Stephen Fitzgerald. I'm a metal artist. Um, I live north of San Francisco, and I've got a one-man show at, at uh, Risk Press Gallery in Sebastopol, California. And I've been showing in here for the month of December, and it's the end of my time period here. I thought it would be um, appropriate and convenient to take uh, some short videos of, of my work. Um, this is 2011, and it's the end of December. Um, anyway, uh, I do a lot of figurative pieces as well as uh, abstract work, and I also um, do a lot of site-specific design and fabrication. I work with uh, interior designers and architects and make uh, driveway entrance gates and gazebos and railings, and I design in any style from Neolithic to Industrial Modern. I'm very fluent with Art Nouveau particularly, and I've been trying to sort of resuscitate that style for Sonoma County in particular because there's this uh, curious hybrid uh, succotash uh, architecture here of a cross between Tuscan country and French provincial, and many of the buildings, though they resemble um, aspects of Tuscan and French provincial, they they, they don't really make too much of a statement, and, and so I, for those bold folks to find me, I design Art Nouveau railings and Art Nouveau gates and to, to embellish the, that architecture and that style. It's a, such a fluid and sensuous style that it seems to put those buildings on the map. Anyway, this figure is a portrait, and I have a, a, an engineer a technique of taking molds off the live model and restructuring the molds so they can accommodate the heat of welding and the weight of steel. And if you'll notice closely, this face is made up from industrial punch parts, which is uh, recycled steel. And then I fabricated the hair uh, out of eighth inch steel and it's forged and welded and has um, kind of invented this uh, interesting contrivance to hold, it's a bust, but the head is held up by the hair. It was, you know, just a, kind of on a whim, and, but it works quite well, I think. And this is a portrait of a Japanese woman that I used to live with for many years, and um, I loved her very much. And, and um, this was a portrait that I did a after we split up, and um, I still had, you know, great fondness for her beauty, and I tried to capture again in this face the expression of a uh, very uh, old ancient culture, you know, there's a timeless uh, element to her expression. And uh, my particular culture was, is Celtic, and so it's fascinating for me to, to think of this person's culture as uh, fully formed and mature when my particular culture was just emerging from caves. So anyway, this is a, a piece called Asia, and what I was trying to represent is not just a portrait of my lover, but to represent all women in, in Asia and in, in, in the Asian culture itself. Um, I grew up on the coast of Maine and had no exposure to Asians whatsoever until I was moving to California for school, and um, you know, I, I have to say they looked very exotic to me. I had no um, exposure to their culture at all, and hooking up with this young woman, she opened my eyes to Japanese art, craft, cooking, their culture, and it just fascinated me. So I wanted to make a genre piece, sort of like uh, Car Clothes, Beast, Le Chinois. This is sort of my portraiture of Asia. So there it is.